Bugatti Chiron, and it is currently the fastest production car you can buy. It's also the most expensive new production car you can buy. It's called the Chiron, and there's no other way of saying this. It's the fastest car in the world. You're looking at a whole new front. Hello everyone, welcome to Exynos Art Channel. Today I will be unboxing and reviewing this long-awaited Bugatti Chiron from Auto Art. And honestly, I've been looking for this one for uh, like a year. The price was always so high that I was like, no, I just can't buy that. But then there was a Black Friday and 15% discount on all models in many Daika stores. So I decided to finally buy this one for 450 euro, which is something like uh, over 500 US dollars. Normally, or usually this one is sold for 500 euro, which is like 600 US dollars. Okay, very expensive, it's 1 to 12 scale, so it's the large one, yeah, and uh, you know that I have already many, like here, I have many uh, 1 to 12 models, so this one will be a new addition to my collection. So, let's start right now, and the first thing, of course, is this unboxing. So, it came in this blue box, and it's quite a huge box, and what I will do first here is to really... Uh, open the box with my ruler with hopes that I will not destroy anything, okay? And it's not it's not really easy to to do that. It's ah is this piece blocking it? It's a very delicate process. Okay, here we go. It's a really huge box. And as you can see here, it's this French racing blue and Atlantic blue. Okay. There are some some details here, what to do with the box and what not to do. So yeah, we should first remove the screws uh, on the bottom, then somehow cut it and then uh, remove it. There's another another uh, brochure or manual uh, because there are some additional parts and buttons. So how to use that, how to use this spoiler or this wing in, in the rear. All right, so that was the second paper here. And then we have one more actually here saying uh, that we should be very careful. It's all in German because I use a German uh, e-shop to buy this one. It's saying, okay, Verpackung an beiden Seiten einschneiden und den Deckel vorsichtig gleichmäßig nach oben hochheben, da die Gefahr besteht, dass sonst die Spiegel abbrechen können. It means something like, be careful, <laughs> okay? Uh, my German is scheiße. Um, all right, and now maybe time to uh, remove the screws. As I said, there should be four of them. Oh yes, and there are four of them. This, this is the bottom part. Let me use my screwdriver and uh, I actually purchase something extra. Because sometimes it's so painful uh, to uh, unscrew it, then I purchase also this one. Yeah, it's a very long uh, bit to, to insert here to the screwdriver. As you can see, it's, it's a very long one and now I should have no problems reaching to the screws, no matter how deep they are.
the only problem is it's not magnetic, yeah? so it's not pulling the screws. Uh, I will need to just do something different. Okay, so yeah, now let's put it the other way around again, very carefully. Oh, here we go. The screws, the screws are here. So, oh, also the plastic pieces are now dropping. All right, so now for the first time I will uh, experience, oh, let me just clean it before I do that. I will experience this 1-12 Bugatti Shiro, maybe one of the best models that will be in my collection. All right. All right. Fantastic. This is really... This is just awesome. Oh, it's a bit dusty. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's excellent. The paint are exactly what I wanted. Yeah, as I said, there are uh, four color variants and I love this one the most, especially because it has this brown interior, which I was really looking for. And I can already show you now maybe some of the details here with this small camera, this GoPro. And yeah, so there is this brown interior, which is absolutely awesome. Okay, so now I should be really able to Take it out of the base since all the screws are gone. So yeah, let me put it here. And yeah, I don't need this styrofoam box anymore. I will put it aside. And now I can really start the review. And yeah, this model is very, very beautiful. It's just amazing, guys. And hmm, I will really need to review it step by step and for that reason, maybe let's start here in the front. And it's really, it's not that heavy, but it's it's quite large. Maybe to check it in the front here, you see this perforated grill. It's very nicely done. Uh, photo etched technology used to uh, manufacture this grill. The same also here, the air intakes, it's all beautifully done. We have the Bugatti logo, we have also the parking sensors here, one, two, three, four. And we have also here the shiny parts. Yeah, it's very beautifully done. Wow, so in the front, very luxurious look and nice imitation of the real car. Then we have the front wheels. And again, I must say they are beautifully done. It's, it's real rubber. You can turn them as you can see here and it's connected to the steering wheel of course and the brake disc is just so big it's enormously huge and we have the Bugatti uh, nice brake caliper so the wheels I mean they look perfect the same in the back also they turn nicely done what about the suspension? Yeah, so what this that's what I'm testing and usually auto art models They don't have a working suspension. What about here? No, if I just press it. Nothing is happening. So suspension unfortunately is not working here, but this uh, Model is not die cast. Yeah, because recently auto art is only making replicas using um, Plastic they call it composite but it's basically plastic. Yeah? It's still the painting is very nice. All the details are uh, nicely done, but still it's not die cast. Like my previous, some of the models that I have, like this Lamborghini Gallardo, it's die cast and it's maybe twice as heavy as this one. And compared to this one, yeah, this is a lightweight. All right, so now um, huh, maybe before, before I go to the engine, yeah? I should really tell you something about this beautiful 1500 horsepower V16 quad turbocharged engine. Huh. Amazing. This is amazing. And we, we have it here. Maybe I, I'll use this GoPro again. So you really see now how this engine looks like, but we have here 
Very nicely done. All the details. Oh, somehow it's uh, it's moving a bit. But then we have also some additional compartment here. Wow, and what is this blue pipe here? Okay, so importantly, um, I wanted to say something different, a bit different. We have in the box, there is something more. There is actually also here uh, this area which is hiding one more thing. So let me just quickly uncover it. Yeah, so now let's let's also take this piece and put it where it belongs. Okay. So now what we can see here, uh, it's not only this engine cover, but we also have this door opening tool uh, in this out with this auto art logo. And yeah, I will definitely use it because I will be also opening all the parts. But let me first take it out. Okay, so that's that's the auto art uh, nice key. This engine cover. Now uh, it's it looks like one big piece of plastic with a paint on the top. Again, it's a bit dusty. I don't know how long it was somewhere in a store or in, in a storage room, but now you can put it here. Yeah, and it nicely fits. So you don't see the whole engine now, only some parts of it. And now you can put it again on a table because I wanted to show you also that you can manipulate here this wing here in the back yeah so it's a delicate work and maybe actually i should again read this manual here okay so there there is actually a button somewhere uh, on the bottom of the car so when i press it oh <laughs> look at that well, i need to do it again it's such a fun so let me press it back. Oh, you can also somehow change the angle, but I will not do it now. I just press it back. And now look at it, Let, look at it again. I will press the button and what will happen? <laughs> it's a good mechanism there. I don't think that on the real car it's so fast. I will just uh, search some YouTube videos to find out how it works in, in reality. Okay, so that's another nice part here. But overall, in the back, what we have, very nice LED lights. This stripe here, I love it, how uh, narrow it is. But it's around the whole area here, around the whole back. And then again, we have photo etched meshes here and two huge exhausts. And again, this Chiron uh, license plate. Wow. And now, when, when this wing is up, uh, you can also see there that there is actually uh, another net here. Yeah? So maybe from this angle, it's more visible. So this was not visible before, but there is another uh, very nicely done net or this detail. It's just awesome. Okay, so... Now I think that's, I will push it back, okay? And now I wanted to also show you a little bit of the bottom of the car before we go to the interior. So here it's completely flat, nothing else, only here this button and that's it. Yeah, don't expect any details in the on the bottom of the car. So unfortunately nothing is there. But now, oh look, I have just discovered one thing. Uh, somebody touched the glass here and I can see the fingerprint. I hate it so much. So actually what is happening that sometimes uh, the resellers, they buy a model, but they want to take pictures for their e-shop. So they unpack it, but they, they touch it with their bare hands and I don't care if they touch, you know, the paint somewhere, but if they touch the glass, it's such a pain for me and somebody in here touched it and I see the fingerprints, two of them, on the front glass. Yeah, so that's that's not acceptable and on such a expensive model, 
I would not expect that somebody is just, you know, touching it everywhere with fingers and then packing it again and selling it like factory sealed. But actually, it was already unpacked by somebody else and they are pretending like it's factory sealed. No, it's not. I can see your fingerprint. So if you are watching now, it's your mistake. All right. Time to calm down, dear friends. Uh, now we will explore the interior of the car. Okay, so I'm carefully opening the doors and I will use, of course, uh, also this door opening tool here. And by the way, uh, the side mirrors here, they can't be uh, folded or unfolded. It's just, you know, uh, not possible to do anything with, with those side mirrors. Um, but here now we have the interior. So, wow. I will probably take some pictures of it. Yeah. Also here with, with this GoPro to show you, wow, how mesmerizing it is. I love this uh, brown interior, this brown leather. I think it's way the best and some people told me, oh, this gray uh, Chiron is much better, but no, I love this one with the brown interior because I love uh, brown leather, uh, leather seats and everything. That's, that's how I love it. Okay, and what you can also do, uh, one more thing, and this is here, opening this, uh, the hood here, or this area, and I just need to discover again how. Okay, so I just opened the trunk here. The trunk is in the front because this is a mid-engine car, so the engine is in the middle, just behind um, the seats but here in the front we have this small compartment and actually look at that we have a nice set of luggage here uh, let me also take out the second one okay so now you can see that we have one piece of luggage here there's a chiron uh, logo on it uh, the same probably on the second one yeah, so one is larger, one is a bit smaller, and we have two of them. No? So not so bad. I love it. Yeah, so finally Auto Art is also giving us some extras, um, and I really appreciate it when we have such details. Okay, and then the rest here, we have nice carpeting. It's a soft touch, no? very nicely done. You change the, the fluid for uh, cleaning the windows here, so there is a nice nice cap for that and Here we have another cap probably that's for oil. I'm not sure and Because usually I would be searching for oil around the engine area in the engine bay, but here we have another uh, Cap with yellow symbols on it. So usually yellow is oil and yeah? so mm. And then we have a warning here also beautifully done. So let me now put the luggage back and I'm not sure which one was oh, on the bottom, probably this one, yes. So again, carefully putting one bag first and the second bag now. Okay, they fit perfectly now. Uh, okay, so now I will put also this here back to the position. Are there any magnets? It doesn't look like it. Yeah? So some other cars, if you use this, uh, they have a tiny magnets which attach it. But here, oh, it looks like it's also magnetic. I don't know where they are. It's not visible. Oh, maybe in the middle here, there is a tiny magnet which is really sticking it to the body chassis. Okay, so yeah, that's now how it looks like. Let me just close it very carefully. And the hinges, yeah, they are quite nicely done. What is the advantage when you have a composite car is that uh, this part is not that heavy and it really holds in the upper position also somewhere in the middle anywhere. Yeah, it's really holding there. On the opposite side, on my Lamborghini, uh, which is full die cast, this part is so heavy that it's not really 
holding in the upper position. Yeah? So you really need to support it with uh, something or just keep it down like I do it now for this one. Okay, so that's actually the car and let me close it carefully. Also here. Wow, so what I will actually need to do is to clean uh, this windshield uh, because it's, yeah, I the fingerprints really made me crazy and otherwise nothing is broken, the car is perfect. Why, why the hell is somebody touching uh, the glass with fingers, yeah? So I never do it. I always uh, either I take it like here on the bottom because there is no harm if, if the fingerprints are on the bottom of the car, but I never touch any glass, any window. Yeah, that's just insane. If you love uh, the model cars, you would never do that. Okay, but that's basically it. So uh, hopefully, uh, you like the model the same way as I do. It's absolutely astonishing. I will add it to my collection and later also when I do that, um, I promise that uh, maybe in January or February I will make a video of my entire collection to introduce what models I have, yeah, to compare them a bit and do a little bit of walkthrough because now I have reviewed like additional 50 models but you don't know where they are and if uh, if I still have them or not. Yeah, some of them uh, I sold them, some of them I will keep forever hopefully. And this one I believe I will keep forever because it's a masterpiece. And you know, this car also in reality is one of the greatest cars ever built. And also this model is perfect. So again, I'm really glad that I have it, full open, 360 open. There is also a resin model which is not openable at all. It's made by Kyosho, you just see the pictures, but I decided to prefer the auto art which you can fully open. And now only time for the final rating. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.